Here's a practical application of current AI in 2022. I'm going to apply it to risk management. Now, risk management as a field, as a consultancy field, billions and billions of dollars. Risk management as a software field has been measured in the tens of billions of dollars. There are a lot of people in the field. There are a lot of big players. I used to sit as a consultant in a different life with a different hat on. I was uh, sitting as a risk consultant for some of the biggest companies in the world. I'm sure I can't mention most of them, but here's a quick list. And it's an interesting field. It's actually mandated. So it's not just that you have to do it and that it will benefit your enterprise or your government. It's also that you have to do it as part of ISO 31010. They list a couple of different ways that you can apply risk management, including the bow tie diagram. Here's a really basic version of that. You risk in the center, the causes on the left, the consequences on the right, and then you put controls in place. Here's a real life example, unauthorized access to sensitive data is the risk in the middle. And then we've got causes including phishing on the left. We can stop that through multi-factor authentication. And then we've got consequences like reputational damage on the right, and we can recover from that with detection and response. So that's a basic overview of what risk management is like. Here's where AI comes in. So GPT-3 is a couple of years old now, but the very latest engines inside that and the very latest functionality has only been around for a couple of months, released at the end of January, 2022. We've got some massive corporations applying this API. You've got IBM, Twitter, Salesforce, Cisco, Intel, uh, and even Disney playing around with what they can do to apply this into their business. AI is also already smarter than any human on earth. So you've got it beating humans in SAT questions and trivia for a start, but it's doing a lot of other stuff. What's actually inside it? So I wrote a report in March 2022 on what this thing was trained with, what these models were trained with. So this was sent through to the United Nations. It was looked at by Allen AI, AI21. And we're looking there at the GPT-3 model, which was trained on Wikipedia, books, academic journals, which is really useful for our use case, and a lot of World Wide Web. Inside those data sets, I did the first analysis on everything inside GPT-3, and there's some really useful stuff in there for risk management software. For example, it references the Public Library of Science. It's got all the documents that were inside Scribd. There's a lot of risk management in there. And also you've got big journals coming out of a Springer link. You've got Reuters as a media, you've got IPFS. All of these things are useful for us when we're looking at drawing out stuff that's already been done in the risk management sphere. So let's jump into the playground and have a look. This is the GPT-3 playground just for testing. You'd make this beautiful, you'd put it in bow tie format, but I wanted to show you how this might work for your own software. We're gonna be using Text DaVinci 002, which is the Instruct GPT engine. We're gonna use the insert functionality, which is really, really fancy. You'll notice that this thing is really useful for complex intent and helping out with summarization and search. Note that I'm gonna set the temperature really low here so it's gonna be more deterministic. It's not gonna try and be creative. It's gonna go straight inside those documents and journals and find risk management that has been successful or effective and draw that out in here. I've created this example here in test. I've got a risk title called adverse weather event. And what the adverse weather event as a risk title is doing is not very much. I want it to tell me everything else that we might put inside this risk. So all I'm giving it is the risk title and the AI, the language model is gonna do everything else. I'm gonna insert a risk description here. The AI returns this risk description highlighted in green. Let me copy and paste that into the risk description so that then we can ask the AI also to generate an overall risk rating. And the inherent risk rating before controls might be said to be high. We can also ask it what the likelihood might be. And it's also filling out the consequence for us as well automatically. Let's throw those into our test prompt. I wanted to note that cost-wise here, a query for GPT-3, even the largest engine, is a fraction of a cent. So you could populate 100 risks or an entire risk register for enterprise for about a dollar. It's really cost-effective. Uh, again, we're just looking at the basics today, but even if you got super advanced and complex, it would still be about a dollar for an entire company. Asking it to insert a list of causes here, it's given us four different causes drawn from its data set. 
again, this is probably querying most companies on earth, most major companies on earth, if they've got data on the World Wide Web or if they've published somewhere in a journal. A couple of preventing controls to stop this risk from occurring based on those causes. Also gonna ask it to insert a list of consequences. And then I'm gonna ask it to insert mitigating controls, assuming the risk has happened and something to help us recover from those consequences. Early warning systems and evacuation plans. Excellent, that's an entire risk end-to-end -end generated in a couple of seconds. I've facilitated workshops with big guys that will sit in one risk for an entire day for eight hours and just argue about stuff. But what if you could give them a template like this? We'll ask it to start from scratch for us. Here's a new risk title, supply chain or distribution failure. I just wanna know the risk description. There's a beautiful example of a risk description there for us. Let's copy and paste that in. And this time let's insert an overall risk rating for this risk, supply chain or distribution failure. We could also play around with another risk title. Let's try loss of IP and let's give it an array or a selection of risk ratings that it could choose from. Low, medium, high, very high and extreme. And it's inserted there a risk rating of high. Of course, we could fill out all those causes, consequences, and controls and ask for a risk rating after those controls as well, our residual risk rating. Here's a risk rating for damage to reputation or brand. And it's giving us a low risk rating there. And the risk description, unique from scratch, probably hasn't occurred in that exact format before, but there it is. There's the basics. You could iterate through this and make it as advanced as you like. This is really exciting. I reckon you could make a few million dollars from implementing artificial intelligence into risk management software.